What's up guys, we're back with another epic mystery collection. I don't know what's in here. It has Pokemon on the front, already a bad sign. But let's get into this, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from the collection. How much do you think I should pay for this collection? I love it when you guys do that. I see a wide range of values, but it's very interesting to see what you guys think. So here we go. Oh, I guess we should read this note first. Here we go. Hope this got to you safe. I've been collecting for a while. This is one of my huge binders. There's a couple of cool ones throughout. Sorry about the lack of Pecanio moths. Stay safe and healthy. Best, Sean. At Swim. Swim's Poke Museum. Swim's Poke Museum. Okay. On Instagram, I guess. I'm guessing that, that that's what that is. Okay, let's go through this. All right, these are going to be very glary. So I'm just going to go through one at a time. We have the Magnet Warriors Super Rares. We've got some more Super Rares. I really don't know what to expect from this. So, so far, a bunch of Supers. When the first page is Super Rares, I'm like, so did they put the better cards in the middle or what? I don't really know. There's Holding Arms. Hysteric Party, I think, is a decent card. Solar Recharge, that's from Ancient Prophecy. Hysteric Sign's decent. Harpy's Hunting Ground, classic. There's a first edition from Rise of Destiny. Sakuretsu Armor Super Rare is pretty cool. Saber Slash from Ancient Prophecy. DD Crow. All right, we're still looking for something that is, uh, okay, Master of Dark Law Super Rare. That's okay, we're still looking for something, you know, decent so far. So far, I mean, I guess Dark Law is decent, but like we've, we're just looking at a couple of, couple of dollars or less cards so far. So, okay, there's nothing on the back. Okay, we're getting into some secrets here. This is nice. Zodiac Dryden. We got uh, Number Hunter. We got Solemn Scolding. It's a cool card. So maybe we're, maybe we're heating up here. Maybe we're about to get to the good stuff. Gaia Saber. The Seal of Onigalkus. Link Spider. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this so far. What do you guys think about the value? Uh, we, got a, we got a damaged Flute of Summoning Dragon. We got a few of those. Scapegoat. Here is more of those. We got Lord of D. The Penguin Soldier. Okay, so where are the big boys? Where is the, the red eyes and stuff? No red eyes so far. We got a Black Luster Soldier there. That's that's okay. Cyber Dragon Novas. Those are worth like a dollar, I think. There's all. Oh, there it is. Can't be a collection without the Sphinxes. Am I right? All right, Kaiser Seahorse. Where are the blue eyes? Where are the blue eyes? Exod, the Master of the Guard. Reinductor Tyranno. Green Baboons, they are not the uh, non-limited versions. Those are pretty expensive, but other than that, they're not too great. More premium pack cards. So I got the Seeker Rares, those are cool. SDI Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. There's a Shrink from Stawn. We have a Monster Reborn from LDD. That's the Spanish version, is that right? Yeah. So that's, that's cool. We've got uh, Blackluster Soldier. There's a very damaged first edition. Okay. Here's an annihilated, an annihilated Curse of Dragon. So a bent up Messenger of Peace. So the, the uh, quality of these cards, it's like a 2 out of 10 right now. <laughs> There's a nice card, but check it out. Creased at the top. And an Ancient Prophecy, Armatile, the Chaos Phantom. Ooh, the condition on these is brutal. So this is what you have when you buy mystery collections. Good thing I haven't paid for those yet. <laughs> they are not. The, the last couple we've bought have been in absolutely terrible condition. And it seems like this one is going to be the same. There we go. Another Sphinx set. All right. Uh, we got some Cyber Dragons, stuff like that. So far, there has not been much value at all, to be honest. There's a nice card, a Power Tool Dragon. It does look like it's in rough shape, but that... Was like a twenty dollar card at one point. I don't know if it went back down or not. In near mint though. There's another secret rare from Ancient Prophecy. One one for one is a good card. It looks like it's bent though. So any pretty much just for you guys. If you are ever buying cards, if it's if it has a crease in it, the value is it's so much lower than a near mint copy. Like maybe like a tenth of the price or even less. Unless it's like a playable card. If it's playable, then it can still hold like a decent value compared to the near mint. But if it's like a collectible card, if you have a, a crease card, it's not going to do too much. Reinforcement, actually, this is a pretty good page. Uh, Reinforcement of the Army and Dark Bolts are both nice. We got a Chief. We got some of those. We got a Nobleman of Crossout. A Chaos Sorcerer Super Rare. Gotta love those. Those are nice. Out of the uh, Joey's, or the Yugi's World, sorry. 
Hand the Six Samurai, Alien Kid. We got uh, Goblin Zombie, Grave Heroes Visionary, Cyber and Dragon, Destiny and Dragoon. Here's an Aqua Dragon. You don't see that card very much. It's, a, it's an interesting one. Horse the Black Flame Dragon. Cool card, but the Secret Rare promo, so not too crazy. Ryza. We've got another Horus. That's pretty nice. We're starting to get into some old school cards. This is a good card. Well, we got a Necroface. Not bad. We got a Tribe Infecting. That's a MFC card. That's cool. Oh! The Susanoo. Oh, man. Stardust Dragon. Not, not a bad little page right there. We have an Ultimate Rare. There's an Ultimate Rare. Adhesive Explosive. Looks pretty beat up. There's a Dark Magician. That's really nice. First edition. Oh, here's a good one. Ring of Destruction Ultimate Rare. I mean, it's it's definitely moderately played, but uh, still really cool. Here are the big cards we're looking for. They look to be very beat up. Very beat up. Here's the God cards. That's nice. We've got Dark Magician Girl Common. We've got uh, Buster Blader, Lost Word from Another Planet. Ooh, Dark Lucius Ultimate Rare. Oh, these, oh, man, these ultimates are just destroyed. There's some nice ultis in there, but they're just in terrible condition. Unfortunately. Honest. Suijin. We got a few. Oh, we got a, we got a Yada in here. It's, oh, man, it's too bad it's beat up. Wait, let's check out the Yada. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just the... I think this one might have a chance to be okay. Maybe. Please. I can't even get it out of the sleeve. That's not a good sign. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That's that's not bad. I mean, probably, like, lightly played. That's still pretty good, though. For the condition of most of the cards, that's pretty good. Let's put that up there. Definitely the best card we found so far. Um, the the Magna Warrior, that's that's definitely damaged. I can, or like, at least has moderately play out. I won't say damaged. I can't see a crease or anything, but... Skull Dice... There's a first edition Diffusion Wave. Imagine if that was a Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> the other MFC secret. Alright, we've got the uh, Judgment of the Pharaoh. That that set's pretty nice. The, okay. Gandora, that's a cool card. We've got some secret rare promos. Nice first edition Invader. Unfortunately, not Chaos Emperor Dragon. <laughs> And we've got what in the world happened to this Dark Blade? We gotta check this thing out. Um, that has to be Sun Faded, right? What is this? What in the world? That's the thumbnail right there. What is that card? That looks super cool, actually. That looks really cool. Definitely Sun Faded, though, because they didn't have Faded Rise of Destiny cards. But that is pretty awesome. Then there is a test print card on here. There's if this card wasn't like completely bent, that would be an insane card. Okay, oh man, this would actually be it ended off pretty strong, but actually be a really awesome collection if the conditions were anywhere close to decent. I'm glad that this Yada is nice though. Let's see if we can grab this without further damaging it. So this Yada is pretty nice. I mean, we'll give it like light play. Definitely the best card we had. And then this cool faded one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What should I pay for this? It's it's weird because the damage cards really don't hold too much value. So overall, there's not too many valuable cards. So it's probably one of the cheaper collections I've shown because there is a lot of cards, but they're, they're really not in great shape. So let me know what you guys think I should pay. And don't forget to follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ruxin34. You guys can check it out in the description. We've been streaming a ton, like three, four, five times a week. It's been really fun. We've had some really awesome people come in and that's been consistent. So if you guys haven't checked that out or just you don't have Twitch, just download Twitch, hop in there. It's really awesome. It's really fun. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this collection. What should I pay? What was your favorite card? I'm guessing Yada gets a lot of votes. Or maybe, how about your favorite card, even if it was damaged, like Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare. Let's say it was like near mint. Just, you could throw that. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom!